everyone, welcome back to 5D Crypto. My name is Chase. Today we're going to talk about Decentraland, or better known as MANA, M-A-N-A. -A. Current number 56 rank coin on CoinMarketCap, uh, currently just above a dollar, and we also have just broken uh, 1.6 billion dollars. Um, yeah, so I, on this channel I like to focus on coins that are over a billion market cap. Uh, you can see our fully diluted market cap is even much higher. So how you get that is you just take your circulating supply, which is here, then you multiply by your price and you get your market cap. Your fully diluted market cap comes from your total supply that there ever could be or ever has been produced right down here. And if that was introduced into the circulating supply, that's how you get your fully diluted market cap, if you don't know. So let's go ahead and look at MANA. Now on this channel, we look at the bigger time frames, we look at bigger picture, we focus less on the five minute charts, the 15 minute charts, or whatever, like the four hour even. We don't really go down to there very often. So if you like that, subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Telegram, and Patreon if you wanna learn more, and you wanna learn how to become a better trader, lose less money, make more money. Everything linked in the description below. So MANA on the monthly chart. You can see this is looking quite amazing kind of move. Up 336% in March alone. That's only 15 days. So 15 days, that's what we've done right here. Amazing move. Let's go down to the weekly. See, still looks pretty insane. So we have a bounce up for a 21 week in a bull market. That's the line that you want to hold. Your 21 week EMA line or your also your 20 week SMA line. Kind of uh, both work as good support bands in a bull market. But as you can see, we're nowhere close to that. We're leaving Earth and approaching orbit. Dropping down to the daily, see if we can get a little bit more detail. You can see all your moving averages are still trending starting to trend even higher up now we need to look at what we've done here we're currently above about what 90 percent above our 21 day moving average so 90 percent anything about 100 percent above which it was earlier right this uh, this this move over here was much higher than that back a few days ago so we were over 167 percent anytime you're over 100 percent above your 21 day moving average it could be a, a decent time to start taking just a little bit of profits. Not financial advice, nothing I give is financial advice, but this is just what I do personally. So the indicators I use for trading are signaling this would be a pretty decent sell time. I'm not saying that you have to do that or you should do that. Like I said, this is not financial advice. I'm just saying that that is what I would do in this situation. We're currently making a huge move. Would I be buying at this level? Of course not. Does any pro traders buy at this level? No. The last time my indicators that I used to trade uh, signaled what they're signaling now, we were right here at this top right here. So I'm not saying that you're gonna have a down move. This could go much higher. This could go two or three times higher. Nobody knows. We're in uncharted territory with MANA. There's a lot of good news around MANA right now. There's a lot of good projects happening with MANA and Decentraland itself. So this could go to $3 tomorrow. It could go to $3 next week. It could go to $10 in the next few months. So don't let anybody tell you that there is a top or it's definitely going down or it can only go to $2. Nobody knows. This is price discovery. Price discovery can do anything it wants. So I'm just telling you what I do for me. If you like to learn a little bit more, again, follow us. We, this is what we focus on, bigger trends. We don't look at the four hour, the one hour, the five minute. There's other channels that do that. We like to focus on the big picture. So big picture for MANA, it's made a hell of a move the past month, right? This is where we were 15 days ago down here, 24 cents. So it's over 4X now. Anytime you're up 4, 4X, 10X, I mean, who knows where you got in? Maybe you got in back here. So just be smart. Don't lose all your money. Don't watch all your profits come back to you. But even if you bought up in here, you're probably still up, right? Even if you bought up to here, maybe Mana will bail you out in the not so distant future. But you could have a correction. Even if you come down, like I said, if you come down, your 21 day of support. It held pretty good back here when we had our drop, the 50 day hold. 
just like most coins. Mana has got a head start on most other coins with the new move to the upside. So don't let me scare you. Don't let me talk you out of holding or buying more or selling. But just if you're going to trade and buy these areas, just know that you have to have a more higher risk tolerance than if you're buying in these areas. Because if you bought down here, who cares about a 20% drop from this level? But if you bought up here or here and you get a 20% drop, yeah, that could be a little little uh, mind-blowing. Uh, so just word some food for thought. Trying to keep you level-headed. Again, this channel, I do not focus on hype or telling you that mana is going to go to $17 by next Tuesday. Just don't do that. I focus on just the charts, just the facts. So if you like that, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much.